nine phrasal verbs that you can use to describe concerts. I'll give you the full list of phrasal verbs in the description underneath the video. Let's go! Hi guys! Last week I went to a concert for the first time in ages. My friend Liz gave me her ticket to go and see a Spanish band called Love of Lesbian because she couldn't make it. And I get asked quite often by English students, how do we describe concerts? What vocabulary can we use? I guess because it comes up on a lot of the Cambridge English exams and you know, everybody likes going to concerts, right? So I thought this would be a great chance to make a video and explain some of it for you. So I'm actually going to make a couple of videos, so watch out for the next one too. If you find this video useful and you're new here today, don't forget to click on the subscribe button in the corner because I've got more videos coming. Let's begin. Go on. The band were due to go on at 10 o'clock, so we arrived at about 9 o'clock. To go on means to arrive on stage and begin performing. We can use it in the context of concerts, but we also hear it in the context of the theatre, where the actors go on stage, and in the context of presentations, where speakers go on stage. When you're walking to the concert, you might ask your friend, what time does the band go on? And they might say, they don't go on until 10 o'clock. Sometimes bands go on late due to technical difficulties, but at this concert, the band went on on time. Queue up. We arrived a little bit late for the concert, so we didn't have to queue up to get in. To queue up means to stand in a line of people to wait for something. We see this in all kinds of contexts. We have to queue up to pay for our shopping in the supermarket. We have to queue up to get money from a cash point machine and sometimes we have to queue to get tickets for something. If you do your shopping on a Saturday afternoon, the shops are really busy so you'll probably have to queue up to pay for your, for your clothes. When a new product is released, like a games console or a new mobile phone, sometimes people queue up outside the shop for the first day of launch to sell out. This concert sold out completely. To sell out means to sell your entire supply of something, so you've got nothing left. If something sells out, it usually means that it's pretty popular. This band are pretty popular here in Barcelona, so the tickets sold out, there were no more left. Even though the tickets sold out, the venue didn't seem very full. Pour in and pour out. When the doors to the club opened, people poured in. Pour is what we do with liquids. I can pour water into or out of my cup. So the people flowed into the club just like a liquid. So we can say they poured into the venue before the concert and then they poured out again when the concert had finished. People pour into the shops when, when there are sales on, like at Christmas and New Year, because they want to get the good deals. People pour out of the London Underground when the doors open at the station. To go crazy. The whole place went crazy when the band came on stage at the beginning. To go crazy means to become really, really excited and maybe lose control of yourself a little bit. You can also say go nuts and go mad and it means exactly the same thing. Well, all of these actually have two meanings. You can, it can either mean you get really, really excited or really, really angry. And you have to judge from the context which one it is. The whole place went nuts when the band played their most famous songs. When they released giant balloons and confetti, everybody went mad. My brother went nuts when I told him I'd lost the concert tickets. To sing along. Sing along! Some of the people right down at the front were singing along with every single word. To sing along means to sing the words with the band at the same time as the lead singer. You often see this as a feature on like Disney movies where they, they you know, where you have that little ball that bounces along the bottom of the screen with the words. At the concert, the entire crowd was singing along with the band when they played their most famous songs. I wanted to sing along too, but I didn't know the lyrics. To crowd surf. Lots of people go crowd surfing at festivals, so you have to keep checking behind you. To crowd surf means to climb up 
on top of the crowd and be carried all the way to the front or all the way to the back or wherever they take you basically. Sometimes the singer of the band does this too. It can be quite dangerous but to be honest people usually catch you and they, they take care of you to make sure you're okay. I went to a big rock festival a few years ago and there were so many crowd surfers you just had to keep checking behind you because you know I got hit in the head a few times. I went to one concert a few years ago where the singer of the band crowd surfed with his guitar and he just continued playing to go for it. This gig last week was the final show of the band's tour so I knew that they would really go for it. To go for it means to give your performance all of your energy, your enthusiasm and your passion and generally show the audience that you really want to be there. We usually use this with more energetic forms of music like rock or punk or indie or maybe even dance music. The, the opposite of this would be if the band looked really bored on the stage or like they didn't really want to be there. Sometimes when bands have been playing together for a long time they, they don't really go for it like they used to. They maybe look a bit bored on the stage. The band were really going for it last week. They were really enjoying the performance. Guys, that is all we've got time for today. In the next video, I'm gonna give you some more words and phrases you can use to talk about and describe concerts. So watch out for that coming soon. While you're here, please leave me a comment underneath the video. Tell me who you are, where you're from, and what you're doing here. Sometimes I feel like I'm just speaking to a camera, so it'd be great to get to know some of you. If you're new here today, please remember to hit the subscribe button in the bottom corner so that I can let you know every time I upload a new video. I want to help you to become fluent and confident in English so that you can go out into the world and make new English speaking friends and connections. So I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.